Royal Icing. Mix up Royal Icing. Tate and Nile produce a Royal Icing sugar. Now, the difference with Royal Icing and Normal Icing sugar is Royal Icing has egg white in it. Now, this is dried egg white, so it gets you over any of the salmonella problems by instead of using raw egg white. The egg white in the icing allows the icing to set absolutely rock hard. So if you're using it for a gingerbread house, it means that overnight the sides of the gingerbread house will set and will stay solid. Quickest way to mix it is to pop it into a mixer and for 500 grams of icing sugar you need to add approximately four tablespoons of water. Just add three to start it off and then pop it on a very low speed. No matter what you do, you will probably end up with a thin film of icing sugar all over your work surface. Just clean it up afterwards. But even if you start off on a low speed, this will happen. Start off on a low speed. As soon as it starts looking like it's coming together, add the fourth tablespoon of icing. The mix you're trying to get it to look like is creamy consistency, not too runny, and not crumbly. So it should stick to the sides of the bowl. But it shouldn't look crumbly. At the moment, this is looking crumbly, so I'm going to add in another tablespoon of water. And another. So that's six tablespoons so far for the 500 grams of icing sugar. And by the looks of this, it's going to need another one, possibly two. Now, as it starts to come together, let's turn the speed up. And it needs to go on quite a high speed and you want to beat this for at least five minutes. The icing will double in size and it will go very, very white. So after five minutes, it'll look very, very white. It will have increased in size and if you put a knife into it, the ends should just fall over. This is called stiff peak. Your icing must look like this in order to stick your gingerbread house together. If it is too runny, it won't work. The gingerbread house will just fall apart. So stiff peak means it will stand up and it just slightly flops at the end. If it is too runny, add more icing sugar or more raw icing sugar. If it is too lumpy and too thick, if it stands up straight in straight peaks and doesn't turn over, then add just a tiny, tiny little bit more water and give it another mix through. If you're mixing royal icing using a hand mixer, it will take longer, around about 10 minutes rather than five minutes. Once it's at that stage, you can then put it in your piping bag and proceed to stick your gingerbread house together.